Andrew, 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 Andrew. We were rooting for you. We thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be the episode where, you know, he finally stands up and he tells Tasha, okay, you know what? I see what game you're playing. Because it's funny because she's been playing, I guess it's not necessarily a bad thing that she wants to get to know other people. It's just that she doesn't communicate that properly. But with him because she she always kind of has him by her side like she always knows that she can fall back on him whenever the new guys come in and they don't pick her and i thought yeah when he said you know i'm not a mug on the outside why would i be a mug inside i was really rooting for him i was like yes this is going to be the beginning of his uh you know villain story he's going to you know when he said like his love island experience begins tomorrow and all that and then because charlie picked ekin sue and didn't pick tasha he decided to save her. This was your opportunity to make a stand and say, no, that is it. Le like, let me let me respect myself. Everybody was upset. But do you know what makes me laugh? Her Tasha's behaviour, damn. But I, what I do love is that everyone, well, not everyone called her out, but the boys called her out as in Dami and Luca because they tend to have that same energy for Ekinsu and say all kinds of things about Ekinsu. So I love that, that, that there's equality across the board and that they, you know, they called her out and said, if you're not happy with Andrew, say you're not happy with Andrew. That's it. That's all we're asking you to do. Like, you don't even necessarily need to say it to me, but just, just be honest with yourself. And she was there, moody, gaslighting Andrew, all this stuff. Oh, they're being rude. Oh, they're being, uh, they're, they're making noises. Oh, they're pulling faces. They're this. Yeah, because you're not being honest. And who's this Brad B? Tasha. Like, girl, sit down some can we get her out of the villa her and andrew get them both out like i'm actually tired throw them both in the bin throw them both because he is a simp and i actually hate to say that word but he really is and she is delusional because she's not being honest with herself yes get to know people but just communicate that you're going to do that it's like nah it wasn't making any sense for me to now i was extremely extremely disappointed i was shocked that charlie did pick ekin sue i'm glad he did pick her because not that I feel like they're going to go far or anything, but it was it was that awakening moment for Tasha that, no, you're not this bad bee that you make out to be. Because again, you didn't get picked, sis. Sorry. Relax. It's okay. And that's the real reason why she was upset and she didn't want to be near Andrew and go away. And he came to hug her and she had the ick. She had a serious ick. No, Andrew, it's okay. Uh, I would tell you that you deserve better, but clearly you don't want better for yourself. And I can't want more for you than you want for yourself. So that whole situation there, that is absolutely something else. I am happy to see some couples, you know, like finally getting together. For example, Dami and India, and I hope that they get some more screen time. It looks like they will on Sunday night. That's great. It looks like they'll be going out on a date. Another person that was like, what are you doing? Jay, hello, hi. Why would you pick Paige? She don't want you. She doesn't want you. She's just trying to be polite. Bless her. Like Paige is a, a really nice, sweet girl. That's the impression that we have. And I know that Jax was genuinely taken aback, but it's like, shame. Good for you. Why would you just so nonchalantly say oh yeah she can she can talk to me and whatever and blah 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 and all this good stuff like like you, you can talk to whoever she wants to talk to no none of that why would you entertain that in the first place say bro i can't really stop you from from talking to her but you know that's my girl or you know you see what we've got going on here and now he's ended up in the position that he's ended up with he's now in a bed with De uh, danica danica respectfully sis just eject yourself from the villa your bombshell did not land you didn't detonate anything in fact the bomb came back onto you because you had the whole luca situation that backfired davide kissed you yesterday that didn't get you picked by him it's just not yeah it's just not been making any sense sis respectfully just take the small piece of dignity that you have and just go home and that's it like it's early on nobody's going to remember so it's fine you can continue to live your life and forget this entire experience i'm not surprised that davide did pick antigone because it seemed like they have a lot of the same values he he seemed like he really respected her and davide is realizing that if he doesn't pick somebody serious he too is going to go home and i do like davide i know that he he thinks that he's supreme and that he's better than everybody and he thinks he's some sort of god 
Um, aside from that God complex that he has, I do find him quite interesting. I do find him funny and his character development for me has been one of my favourite over the past couple of weeks. Obviously, you've got Luca and Gemma. They're not really much to, to talk about in terms of the two of them. Luca was cracking me up with the facial expressions he was making. And I do think that he does have Andrew's best interest at heart. Although I do feel like he doesn't, I don't know. He's the friend that like, he has his friends back. But when other people are trying to attack them, but he... He also disrespects that friend. So it's like, no one else can disrespect my friend, but I can disrespect my friend. That is what Luca gives me in terms of him. Um, but yeah, who else? Am I missing anybody else out? I think that's everybody. You know, uh, it will be interesting to see who goes home next. I hope it is a public vote so we can get these people out. Cassara Moore might be on the 4th of July, I was reading. So if... If so, then it's around the corner, really. And we'll see. We will begin to really see who's going to last and who's not going to last. I don't see Paige and Jax surviving past Castro more. I think he will definitely, his head will definitely be turned in there. But I think this whole experience might make her open her eyes a bit more as well. I really need them to start to apply um, pressure in terms of people solidifying their relationships before Casa Moore because if everyone's a bit wishy-washy when they go to Casa Moore it's not really going to make much of a difference like our jaws dropped when it's like you know there's proper relationships and they go in there and their heads get turned so maybe they should show us a bit more of Gemma and Luca as in Gemma being polite towards Luca I would like to see that just so that you know there is a shock if they go to Casper and Moore and either of their heads are turned. I do think Gemma's head will be turned in there. I think Luca will be loyal because he obviously he wants to, to have a lovely afternoon with Michael Owen and he's envisioning, he's envisioning his life that way. Um, but yeah, this week has been a bit of a roller coaster week. What are your predictions for next week in terms of, do you think that there's going to be another public vote? I hope so. People need to start going home. The villa is packed. There's too many people in there. It's okay. Let people start going home. Maybe bring in a couple more bombshells just to just to solidify how you know um, how solid some of these relationships are. I would like to see a bit more screen time from some of the other couples as well. And um, I want the Tasha. I want Tasha to continue to be under duress and pressure. Because you need to learn how to, to communicate what it is that you want and not go around gaslighting people. Because when it was Ek and Sue, people were, people were shouting, making noise, this, that, whatever. And then when it comes to Tasha, I guess maybe because she's a bit more sly or sneaky. Yes, they did call her out, but it wasn't the same way. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see um, what happens. I did see a, an interview, actually, that Remy did. And he was talking about Jax and how Jax is actually a bully in the household. So... Um, you know, the editing, again, only shows us so much. I'm going to check out the unseen bits on Saturday. Obviously, that won't, con that won't contain any content with Remy because obviously he, he went the week before. But just to see if there's any other interactions that we haven't been shown during the week. So, guys, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoy this content, of course, please feel free to share it as well. Liking means that... And subscribing also means that other people get to see this content as well. So I'll see you again on Sunday. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Take care, guys. Bye.